Welcome back to the MyPro Golfer channel. Jeremy Franks coming to you here from the driving range at Summerfield Crossings Golf Club. And today we're gonna to go over my favorite iron, how to swing the eight iron. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode. Here at My Pro Golfer, you know we like to keep things simple. And today, I've got a special gift for you to help you never miss a five foot putt again. Click the link below and download today. So last week we finished up with the nine iron and it's kind of in that progression of how to swing each and every club. And if you remember, or you're new to the channel, we've got quite a bit of difference in function. So. Every iron should have about a half inch longer to it. And the reason why that half inch is there is so that it can create a little bit more speed without swinging harder, which should send the ball just a little bit further. And each lie and loft angle should also be slightly different. The uh, loft of it, my eight iron is three degrees stronger than my nine iron. So I should be able to hit it a little bit further. And why is eight iron my favorite club? Well, eight iron's my favorite club because it's so versatile for how I play. I love playing golf in Scotland and Ireland. And so a bump and run is something that I've loved to do with an eight iron. If you look back at some of our short game lists on our playlist on our channel, we talk about the bump and run and how to hit those shots, but it's just very versatile club. So if anybody ever wanted to do a one club challenge against me, and you'll see that on YouTube channels, Eight iron might be one of those ones that I'll hit because I can thin this sucker about 180 to 190 yards. I can dial it down to chip it about 80 yards or even, even shorter if I need to. And I can putt with it no problem because the leading edge is very sharp and not doesn't have too much loft and I won't get in too much trouble when I hit that shot. So that's why eight iron is one of my favorite clubs and why we're gonna teach you how to use it properly in the golf swing today. All right, so if you're new to the channel or you're you know, following along on this series, one of the biggest things that really helps people get started is to just feel how the golf club weighs in your hand. So now we're getting into eight iron, sort of the beginning of that middle tier of iron in your golf bag. And so you're gonna feel a little bit more weight and a little bit more club length. And so the longer the club, in essence, the slower you need to swing because have you, if you got a really, really long club and the ball was on top of my golf bag, I would need to swing very slowly to bring that club head back to the ball and finish slowly to keep that momentum going. So the longer the club, the more fluid and full you need to swing for it to get going. So you watch your drivers on tour, the long drive guys are big fluid movements. There's a lot of speed, but there's also a lot of movement. So Let's work on making sure that we feel that extra weight and extra length of each club as it gets longer in this half back, half through feel. It's essential to feel the weight of the golf club in order to hit the ball solidly and successfully each and every time. All right, now we're gonna train ourselves how to swing the golf club. And remember, we're just learning to swing with the body. The longer the club, the more time it needs to take. So let's go through the moment of truth. We're gonna get ourselves set up in that nice athletic stance that I always encourage everybody to work on. Feel that weight go back to about halfway and through to a halfway. And what you'll remember and you'll notice is even though that feels halfway and feels halfway there, when I actually swing, it's not actually what happens. And so knowing what the real is to what the feel is, is essential for you to learn. So have a friend videotape you, just give yourself a knowledge of, wow, am I really doing that? One of the biggest things that I do in my instruction is I make sure I show you that first video from down the line and face on. The reason I do that for my students is because a lot of times they're just shocked of how they look. And sometimes just changing how you look is enough to make yourself hit the shot really solidly. So let's get into that feel. That's what I want to do. This is what I want to feel. And let's just see what happens in that half back, half through shot. 
So I hit that just a little bit heavy, but I did get the movement feels of the shot that I wanted. And if you can work on that little half back, half through shot and how the club is a little longer and a little weightier, you'll start to get that sense of how to swing your eight iron. Hey, just want to remind you to not forget on getting your free gift below on how to never miss a five foot putt. All right, so before we get into actually full swinging the eight iron, I've got a little drill for you and it's called the two club drill that will help you to really see how to succinctly maximize the body movements and getting the arms together to allow yourself to really feel the changes. A lot of times you'll have a right arm or left arm dominance in your golf swing. And this will really help you to learn how to match up the movement pattern. So what I want you to do is get yourself in your golf posture with two clubs. Ideally, these two clubs are pretty close together. So eight iron and I've got nine iron in my right hand. Get yourself set in your athletic motion and just kind of keep your clubs out in front of you. And the focus of this, of this drill is to try to keep the clubs close together so that you can really feel the body work well so that you can feel the arms and body work together so that when you're swinging with the arms separated like this, you can get a sense of how the body is supposed to work. If your clubs are clanking or they're getting all off track, your arms and your body aren't working together as a unit to swing the club. So get the sense to feel how they would work together in sequence. It's kind of hard to do. Get a feel for it. Do it short like I did here first. Just kind of get the arms to swing with the body. And that will be another level, another layer of learning the golf swing. Give that a shot and let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, so by doing our drills, you've never been more prepared than you are now to swing your eight iron. You've got the two-handed drill that really felt the movements of everything coming together succinctly. You've got the half-back, half-through drill to kind of make sure that you feel the rotation of the body. And now we're going to try to put all that into practice. Like every shot, we want to get into that athletic setup where the, the feet are just about shoulder width apart, or a little further, a little closer. It doesn't have to be too precise. That golf ball for our eight irons right in the middle of our stance. So we can get ourselves nice and relaxed. We're over top the golf ball in step one of the olive tree method. And then we're just going to swing the golf club, feeling the weight of the shaft and the head, finishing the backswing and the through swing all the way through. Oh, that was much more solid than the half shot. Really came together. Just a nice little cut on the wind there. Not so worried about ball and where it's going. Just trying to feel the golf swing swing on this slightly cooler morning here in Florida. All right, gang, so I hope you enjoyed our series on the 8-iron today on how to swing the golf club. And I said before, if you'd like to come down and get a golf lesson here at Summerfield Crossings Golf Club, I'd be happy to have you. We're doing an amazing renovations, and maybe you can hear the tractors in the background, developing probably one of the best practice facilities in all of the county that we're in down here in the Tampa, Florida area, Hillsborough County. So it'd be a phenomenal time to come down and do that. But... If you can't and you want to work regularly, weekly to get better at this great game and you enjoy the videos that I'm putting out there, I want you to go to my website, myprogolfer24.com and click the link that will get you the information that you need to start developing the steps to the olive tree method, how to swing the golf club and everything from point A to point B. We are so happy to have so many of our students shooting their career round that have never even played around the golf with me or gotten a lesson individually with me. The key is that the system works. The process in getting you better at this great game has been so helpful. The Olive Tree Method has helped so many people around the world that I guarantee you, you will get better at golf if you continue to follow the systems. The biggest key to change and maybe you're one of those people that are just sitting there and you're just stuck at shooting 90 or you can't break 100 or you can't break 80. The problem is not that you're incapable. The problem is that the system that you are using isn't winning for you. So I want to help you get a big win and I want to take you as far as you want to go in golf. So like, subscribe to this video and this channel. And if you really want to get great, get connected with me and let's take you as far as you want to go in golf. Thanks so much. We'll see you next Thursday at 6 o'clock.